I saw something uh, the other day that I think is just a monumental weapon in in our arsenal in this uh, non-fight that we find ourselves in. And there's a lot of caveats here. Uh, first of all, as I said, I think it's terrific. It's a video. I think it's great. But that doesn't really matter because I'm not the problem. Uh, the reason I want to share this with you is because of how it affects people who have not been particularly lined up to read, you know, policy statements by the Heritage Foundation or listen to George Will do a, do a lecture. I'm going to play a couple bars of it, and then I'm going to sync it up. Watch the reaction that this flaming sword of justice uh, and righteousness has on our fellow Americans here. Here we go. I love high gas prices. I love paying more for groceries. And I really love seeing taxes rise. It's so good knowing that I'm giving more, but receiving less. It makes me feel humble. But I'm going to stop with the sarcasm right there. Because I swear we're living in a real jungle. It's what? Pretty simple to me, though. It's way past being left or right. Just use your head and common sense and think about how you've been affected in daily life. Is it easier or is it harder? That's the most important question you should think of first. Because life is a bitch already as it is. And you don't need someone that's going to make it worse. Ask me? Huh, I think we're f don't give me that look, everything sucks Have you gone outside? Have you Why been to the store? Have you like compared that? the prices to a year before? Do you drive a car? Have you pumped gas? Don't lie to me now, it sucks You could brush it off like a f***ing joke But the media lies, numbers don't Well, you can't play Biden, it isn't him Well, who the f*** is it then? What jacked up the prices? I wanna know I spend so much at the Conoco I don't know I think it's insane that the leader of the country gets no blame Cause the whole entire time, the last four years, it was cheap as f I'm just saying, now watch down in the comment section, someone's gonna give us an economy lesson I can't wait to hear your expert analysis on fluctuation and how expenses balance hey, it's well, all a part, part of the process, what the hell you bitching for, it's fine Oh yeah, I forgot about the 16 cents that I saved on hot dogs for 4th of July What a f***ing steal, too bad I spent more on gas just to get the target So by the time I got done buying all this filling up my car, I had way less than when I started Now, I don't really call that saving, no, I call that losing money It doesn't take a genius to do simple math, but apparently you can't, so who's the dummy? Facts. Just pissed off. This inflation's f***ed up. But Facts. I gotta sit here and act like I love this administration with a thumbs up? Stupid. Everything is hell, but you act like I'm supposed to be in heaven. You know our country ain't doing too good when the Waffle Houses start to close at 11. Dude, he can barely talk. And don't act like I'm being overzealous. Every time I the like man speaks, I have no f***ing clue what he's trying to tell us. Nope. Every speech is like a gag reel. Every time I see the I'm like, is that real? Well, considering the fact that the only other option was Trump, I don't think it's such a bad deal. <laughs> That. I want a strong leader The strength of a man should be constantly tested Especially when you're in the most powerful position in the world That should be not even a question uh, There's really not enough words that can describe the craziness we're facing, dude But the crazier part is there's still people you need to sit down and really explain this to yep. Just watch a press conference You'll see that Joe is all gone He literally says out loud that he has a list of people he's supposed to call on And even then he that up. The whole thing is hella awkward COVID-19 ain't his biggest enemy what is it? It's the goddamn teleprompter It feels like we don't even have a leader It's like we're all just following blindly Each of my grandparents could run circles around him in a debate And they're almost 90 Look at him, don't take it from me, go listen to him It's not a rumor You gotta, I mean, the... T -t 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 Today, Junior! Jesus Christ, go on YouTube and click any video of Joe Biden and check out the like and the dislike ratios that should prove to you that no one likes him. I don't agree with anything he's done. His decisions affect me in many ways. If it was up to me, I'd rather have mean tweets and cheap gas any day. Fact. I don't like Biden. What good's he done for us? I think Afghanistan pretty much sums it up. What a dumb adult. My stomach does somersaults when I Let's think about go, the 14 oh soldiers that were killed the Goal. Then he goes to the service and keeps checking his watch like he has somewhere better to be I swear the disrespect isn't stop Pick your f***ing head up, look at the women and men you killed I don't understand how anyone could even defend you still And if they do, they either don't know what they're talking about Or they're lying to themselves, cause they know damn well you're a problem now Pulling out was a good choice, not the way you did it though Kamala's probably sitting there like, oh my god, we did it, Joe <laughs> Speaking of her, where's she been through all these deadly days as soon as Erupts and hits the fan, Kamala's MIA Not like she does anything anyway It's useless, Back. law and order, crisis at the border Back. She don't f***ing do f***ing do 
Back. Just a talking head, paired up with the walking dead Breaking absolutely every word that was promised or said Back. Every time I see their faces on TV, it's such a bummer I feel like I'm watching the third installment of Dumb and Dumber And on top of all that, they put another ban on ammo Trying to disarm Americans, but equip the Taliban like Rambo You give them hundreds of thousands of military guns But Americans just trying to protect their families are the scary ones You put more trust in a terrorist organization than you do in your own people You don't care about this nation you, that's from me. Fuck you, that's from them. Fuck you, from everyone that's still stuck in Afghanistan. Fuck you, from the men and women who died for this country. And fuck you, for every time you lie to cover up something. You blame this on Trump. How the fuck is this even his fault? You're in charge now, not him. That's just your default. Whenever something goes wrong, you flip and say he did it. But whenever something goes right, you're quick to take the credit. You undid almost all of Trump's agreements by your second day. So why is this one of the only? Things you left in place, no crosses to bear, no responsibilities, just chocolate, chocolate chip to ease your mental instability. I would say the blood's on your hands, but that's a lie, cause you don't even know where the f you are half the time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my man ran out of breath. Speaking volumes here. Speaking volumes here, man. You may not like the, the capsule that this is wrapped in, and that's fine. But what's important and what you just saw with your own lion eyes is that that capsule, that, that, that F-bomb-laden rap song, got a message to people who would never have gotten the message before. And that's where the fight is, right? Because you're not the problem, I'm not the problem, even the people watching the video aren't the problem. The problem is, is that they never ever get to hear the other side of the story. And along comes Samson, Samson of all people, what a great name, some guy, white guy from out in the sticks with a mullet, who is laying down some very solid beats and reaching people with that flaming sword of righteousness in a way that the rest of us, at least as far as I'm concerned, can just sit back and watch in absolute awe.